Travis, you've dealt with or you deal with the Olympics and X Games, and you see a lot of different brands with a lot of different objectives and stories. Um, on the factory Polaris team, we have Polaris, which wants to tell their story, but then we also have Progressive Insurance, want to tell their story. BF Goodrich wants to tell their story. Synchrony Finance, how do you coincide and manage all the different stories that the different sponsors want to tell, or how does that work exactly? If I'm a driver and I want more than one sponsor, um, but perhaps the stories are different, how do I bring that together? Uh, by surrounding myself with smarter people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, no, it's, That's it's why Ryan's really, there. yeah, Ryan and, and Aaron and, and all the, all the folks of the team. Um, no, it, it, it really starts with, with how you are selling in a program, right. And understanding what's the objective of that, that, that sponsor, what, why are they sponsoring this team? So if you can be aligned from day one about what they're looking to get out of this program, then you've kind of set the tone for what your expectations are going to be for the year. Right. And then it becomes a little bit of a game of, of executing and also managing and, and making sure you follow through. Um, and that takes time. It's, it's, it's hard work. It's why a lot of people don't, you know, love um, being a professional athlete these days, because it's not just about what you're doing on the track or on the court. There's a lot of hard work that goes in on the outside of that um, in order to make sure you you're, you're delivering all you can. So really it's, you know, from the, on the players team specifically, you know, we send out a content calendar um, uh, uh, two weeks preceding the following month so that all of our sponsors know what day they're getting the post, what that post is going to be. They see the other content we're posting and for the other sponsors and the non-sponsored content. So they can then plan their content calendar around it. So they know they're getting a post on February 17th, you know, then they're going to share that and we're going to work with them to do it and amplify that. So we're trying and to give us content calendar is not made in a vacuum either that that's yeah. the content we're creating is based around the messaging that we understand is important to the brands we're representing. And that comes through communication and, and meeting with them and understanding the core brand values and so on. It's not just, I'm, I'm, we don't just create stuff out of a vacuum and then check the box that, Hey, we, you know, now we've represented our partners. 